In the sports of bowling, you need to knock down as many pins as possible to have the highest score. With this ultimate goal in mind, you have to strike the most. But if you can't strike all the time, the possible way to have a high score is to spare the most of you can. This video will help you create a sparing system using a plastic spare ball for two-handed bowlers and give you some basic presets that you can use at hand. You can find the video segments of the pin sparing preset at the caption of this video. Before we dive in, let's review some basic rules. Number 1. Remember the pin number positions and how to count the board on the LAN. In this video, we'll count the board from the right to the left. You just need to revert it if you are lefty. Second, define and remember the aiming preset before the shot. Third, roll straight with a plastic spare ball. And fourth, maintain medium to high bone speed with low axis rotation to minimize the risk of only hook. Spare on the right side. Spare aiming presets on the right side are created from the benchmark preset of sparing the 10-pin. You will stand on the far left side using the 10-pin spare preset, which is Aim at the left edge of the 10-pin. Stands at board 35. Target line is created from board 33 between the dot line and the foul line, crossing board 32 at the dot line. If you want to roll the ball farther, the target line can be extended to the arrows at board 28. You can refer to the video on how to spare the 10 pin at the upper right corner of the screen. Based on this benchmark target preset, you will adjust to create the spare system for other pins on the right side. Tips for creating an easy to focus target line. Before jumping to a list of aiming presets for pin sparing, I would love to share a small tip for creating an easy to focus target line. While aiming for pin sparing, your eyes can focus on any spot at the arrow, at the dot line, or a point between the dot line and foul line. I focus mainly on a spot halfway between the foul line and dot line, while extending to another point at the dot line. So, I've just created a target line with two target dots. This line will meet the target pin when extended farther down the lane. I've used a laser beam light to ensure the target line missed the target pin. By focusing on this smaller piece of the whole target line, I feel more confident and comfortable when rolling the ball rather than just focusing on a single point. 6 pin and combo 610. So let's go with the 6 pin. Actually, if you want to shoot the single 6 pin, you just need to reuse the aiming preset of the 10 pin with later adjustment as follows. Aim at the right edge of the 6 pin. Stands at board 35. Target line is created from board 33 between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 32 at the dot line. The logic is quite simple. If you can hit the 10 pin and its left edge, you can cover the 6 pin and the combo 6 9. The left edge of the 10 pin and the right edge of the 6 pin is nearly the same spot. So if you are left target from the initial aiming preset, you can still hit the 6 pin at least to its left edge and also cover the combo 610. Pin 3 and combo 36, 3610 and 9610. With the single 3 pin, you can apply this preset. Aim at the right edge of the 3 pin. Stands at board 36. Target line is created from board 34 between the dot line and foul line crossing board 33 at the dot line. So if you can hit the right edge of the 3 pin, you can use this preset to convert the combo 36, 3610 and 9610. Next, pin 9 and combo 369 and 36910. With a single 9 pin, you can apply this preset. Aim at the right edge of the 9 pin. Stands at board 37. Target line is created from board 35 between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 34 at the dot line. You can use the same preset to cover the combo 369 and 36910. Spare on the left side. Spare aiming preset on the left side is created from the benchmark preset of sparing the 7 pin. You will stand on the far right side using the 7 pin spare preset, which is Aim at the right edge of the 7 pin. Stands at board 15. Target line is created from board 14 between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 15 at the dot line. 
If you want to roll the ball farther, the target line can be extended to the arrow at board 17. Your plastic spare ball might hook left aggressively in some short oil patterns. In this case, you will move the preset parallel to the right side to avoid a gutter. Aim at the right edge of the 7 pin. Stands at board 10. Target line is created from board 9 between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 10 at the dot line. If you want to roll the ball farther, the target line can be extended to the arrows at board 12. Based on this benchmark target preset, you will adjust to create the spare system for other pins on the left side. Illusion on the left side spare When sparing on the left side, you might realize that the launch angle of the target line is always larger, pushing you to try rolling the ball left. In reality, the launch angle is not that much, but just an optical illusion. Following this illusion, you might miss left or have a gutter ball most of the time. Knowing this illusion, you will have a better trust in your target line. So, how to set up the approach and swing plan for sparing on the left side? This question might sound silly, but it's true. If you are righty, you might find it hard to align your body to the target line with these spares. When setting up your body alignment with the left side spares, I also find it confusing, but I finally found a way to resolve it. This is my solution. I still use my body alignment with the hook or strike ball as follows. I stand with my feet and body angle perpendicular to the foul line, while keeping the target line in my head before moving. No twisting or turning body to match the target line at all. I swing the ball in a straight and perpendicular line to the foul line. Then the whole body will automatically match up with the target line later in step 3. This might sound crazy, but it works. You should try and see. You can also refer to our video on how to aim and swing at the upper right corner of the screen. So let's spare pin 4 and combo 4-7. So with this body set up, let's spare the 4-pin with this preset. Aim at the right edge of the 4-pin. Stand and stop at board 14. Target line is created from board 13, halfway between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 14 at the dot line. You can also use this preset to convert the combo 4-7. Pin 2 and combo 2-5-7, 2-4 and 2-4-7. And here is the preset for the 2-pin. Aim at the right edge of the 2-pin. Stands and stop at board 13. Target line is created from board 12, halfway between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 13 at the dot line. You can also use this preset to convert the combo 257, 24 and 247. Pin 8. Preset for the 8-pin is the same as for the 2-pin. Aim at the right edge of the 8 pin. Stands and stop at board 12. Target line is created from board 11, halfway between the dot line and foul line, crossing board 12 at the dot line. Double wood spares. With a double wood spare or a combo with double wood pins on both sides, I suggest you use the hook ball most of the time and adjust the target line with the 369 or 246 system to minimize the risk of plastic ball deflection. We talk about the 369 and 246 adjustment system in another video if you still don't know what it is. That's it. I think we have covered most of the typical spare conversions. I know this is a long video with lots of numbers. You should save and watch it later to test and practice until you can firmly and unconsciously remember your own system. I also leave a sparing preset cheat sheet in the caption of this video if you want to check out. It takes time. So be patient. Happiness is a journey, not a destination, right? Your aiming preset might be slightly different from mine, but that is okay. There's no single pattern for all. Now, it's time you hit the lens and test my tips. If it helps improve your spare game, don't forget to come back and give me some comments. Also, like or share this video with your friends if they want to improve. See you in the next video on how to adjust ball motion with simple presets for two-handed bowlers. Until then, enjoy bowling!